Let's talk about Coach Prime, because this was something that I thought was... I think it had some more depth than maybe most people wanted to wanted to, to give it. Because you see a fight happen at practice, and, and you're like, okay, fights happen at fall camp, whatever. I think there's more to the story. So to, to recap it for us here, we're playing fall camp, we've got football in Colorado. It's a beautiful thing. Coach Prime and company, a running back, it looked like it was a scrimmage, a running back gets in the end zone, crosses the goal line, defensive back kind of gets a little bit extra with them and, and throws them down. It wasn't a dirty play, but maybe it was a little bit of something where he could have pulled up. He didn't. Running back didn't get up like he had a problem with it. But one of his big offensive linemen went over and let him know, hey, that's not okay. Gave him a little bit of a shove. And then you kind of see some more bodies flood into the picture. And you got a little bit of a skirmish breaking out at Colorado practice. Like I said, fights are good. There's a way to fight. There is such a thing as a bad fight at fall camp. Watching this on video with the context I had, did not think this was a negative fight. Did not think this was a bad thing for Colorado in any way, shape, or form. It's good to have competitive juices flowing. You want to see that. You want to see your guys mixing it up. You want to see your guys fighting and being competitive to a degree inside the whistle. But if it goes outside the whistle, those competitive juices, they overflow a little bit. That's not a bad thing. We're not overly concerned about that. But what drew the biggest response from the audience was what Coach Prime said next. Now I'm saying this for those that have seen the video now in a clipped format. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please make sure you like the video. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at JD Paquel. Because we're live right now. If you're watching it in clipped, we, we appreciate you locking in, but we want you a part of this live operation too. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all that are being tuned in live. Uh, let me speak to the good folks that are watching this as a clipped video as well. So, like I was saying, the, the response came from the people that saw what Coach Prime said about that fight. Because you see that clip of the fight, but then you see Coach Prime go and talk to his huddle, looks like the offense, and he said, hey, they're fighting over there, and I see two of y'all walking the other direction. Where do they do that? Where do they do that at? And there's kind of a pregnant pause there, and you hear an assistant coach say, not here. And you heard the rest of the, the team eventually say, not here. He said, if one person fights, we all fight. And this got some mixed reviews because some people saw this and they said, Coach Prime is encouraging fighting. What in the world? They're, they're, they're undisciplined. That's not good for the kids. What are you teaching them? Someone's going to get hurt. Coach Prime wasn't encouraging fighting right there. He was encouraging culture. He was encouraging when stuff goes down, you better have your brother's back. Whether it's between the whistles or outside the whistles, I don't care. You have each other's back. That's how we're going to do it if you're on my team here at Colorado. And a lot of people have a lot of things to say about Coach Prime and the way he runs things and what he did through the portal. Like, forget all that. I just love the way that he was coaching these guys. Because the thing that I think some people are missing here, it's not just a matter of having each other's back. It's about making these guys a team. Because the best teams, they're tight-knit and they have each other's back. All around. I mean, think about the best teams you've been on, sports or otherwise. You take care of each other. You link arms and you're there when things go crazy. When things go down, you're there for them. Whether you want to or not, you're there for your brother. And in, in this situation, he's not asking him to go in and throw a punch. He's not asking him to go in and cheap shot a guy. He's saying, go be involved. That's kind of the unwritten rule of fights. Go be involved. Go do something. Go be there. Break it up. That, that's being involved. Be there for your brother when stuff is going crazy like that. Because within this whole operation at Colorado, it's a brand new team. A lot of these guys got there after spring practice. And so Coach Prime, yes, he's trying to get them all on the same page with the staff and schematically and X's and O's and the playbook and all that, but also he's trying to make sure they are a team. Not just a group of 50 new individuals, a, a whole team. Because individuals don't win on Saturdays. And Coach Prime understands that. And so there was a lot that was said about this and a lot of negative feedback that this got by saying that it was bad for the game or he's encouraging fighting. I think that's trash. I loved this. This showed me that Coach Prime, and whether, he, whether you thought it already or not, this showed me that Coach Prime cares a lot about the chemistry of his team. He's not just about talent acquisition. He's about putting together a real team on the field on Saturdays. So I'm excited about Colorado. I'm excited to see what this... Uh, what this team looks like, especially in the second half of the season, and how they respond. 
But I love Coach Prime, and I love his policy on fighting for his program. I think that is good coaching. I think that's good for the game. It's good for those kids, too, man. What you're teaching them, have each other's back. Does not matter what it is. You have your boys back. That's how it works. And that's kind of, again, the unwritten rule of uh, fights within practice. Just go be involved. Just go be involved. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.